What up, Peapods? Welcome back. I'm Ish, and I'm here to give you an update today about how my language learning has been going. I've been concentrating on learning German now for about four days, and this is the fourth day. I told myself I would take today off, but I found myself at 6.30 this morning. My mind's racing. I'm translating German in my head. I don't even think in English anymore. Um, and yeah, I got up and I studied for two hours before anybody else in the house even woke up, which was kind of relaxing and refreshing, actually. I find that every day I'm learning a bit more, things make more sense, and if you're an English speaker that wants to learn German, I found a great teacher on YouTube, and I'll share that with you guys towards the end of the video. So the schedule that I've adapted or adopted is to study for one hour sessions and then take about a 30 minute to an hour break. Sometimes the sessions go a little longer if I feel like I'm really absorbing the information, but if I feel like I hit a wall or I'm just overwhelmed, then I take a break. And that's what you have to do. When you're learning a language, your brain is doing a lot of work that it wasn't doing, and you have to take breaks or else you won't be able to absorb new information. As I mentioned, I feel more confident with every lesson, and we have been speaking about 90% German in the house, Hooray! which has encouraged me to speak to others. I was taking a walk earlier this week, and I saw a neighbor, and I walked with her to her house, and we had the entire conversation in German. I was previously intimidated to speak German, but I was like, come on. If I'm going to live in Germany, as I said before, I gotta speak German. We had this entire conversation in German and she gave me positive feedback at the end of the conversation. She said, your German's really good. Why didn't you speak German before? And that leads me to a great tip for you guys is to push through the fear. When you're learning a new language, you have to be patient with yourself. It all takes time and you have to understand that you're not gonna get it right away. But the best way to practice a language is to actually speak it. No oh, shit. You have to overcome your anxiety regarding how other people will perceive your level of knowledge. You'll very rarely find that somebody has a negative response to you trying to speak their language. They'll actually encourage you, in most cases, help you. So get over that hurdle of thinking that you have to be perfect at what you do. That was my biggest, uh, that was something that took me a long time to come to terms with. But now, I'm going to speak German. If you understand me, cool. If you don't, Help me out, we'll get there together. If you're on a learning journey of any kind, leave comments down below. We'll encourage each other so we can all get through this together. Speaking of comments, quick Peapod shout out, Calypso and Pokemon Spruce. Thanks for commenting guys. It means a lot to me that you take time out of your day to just jot something down in the comment section. I love reading the comments. We love responding to the comments. Thanks guys. All right, now I'm gonna give you guys five tips on learning a language. As I mentioned, speaking. Speaking is the easiest way to learn the language, to get comfortable with the pronunciation of things, and also to get that feedback. It's easier for me living in Germany to learn German, but if you're not in the country of the language you're learning, there's tons of online resources you could use. There's forums, there's chat groups, there's meetups. Get out there and explore and hopefully it'll make your journey easier. The second tip I'll give you guys is to pace yourself. Don't compare yourself to other people that may be faster at learning the language. Do it at your own pace. If you feel overwhelmed, take a break. Just stick to it, and the more you practice, the easier it'll become. The third tip is to set a reason why, or give yourself a goal. Whether you wanna take a vacation to another country, you wanna meet people from other countries, or whatever, Whatever your motivation is, constantly focus on that. And anytime you feel frustrated, come back to your why and it'll push you forward. Tip number four is always reward yourself for a job well done. Give yourself a mental break and do something you enjoy. It's always good to have something to look forward to and rewarding yourself as you're learning something new makes it that much easier. Tip number five is to find a support group, whether it's family, friends, online, or even just talking to me in the comments section. Together, we're stronger. We can do anything and we need to be there for one another. The world needs more people like you. Okay, and as I promised, I'm learning German from Smarter German. And if you speak English, he uses English to teach you German. It'll make sense once you watch his videos, 
but here's a link. There's a link in the description box that'll get you started. He's an amazing teacher. There's cool songs. There's all sorts of different ways in which different type of people learn. And for me, this works really well. I'm a very logical person, so things have to make sense to me. When you're learning languages, you kind of have to throw that out and you have to become more creative. So he shows you ways to creatively learn a language in a way that's comfortable. Let me know in the comments if you watch his videos and what you think about it. All right, guys, I just wanted to give you an update. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for hanging out. Peace out, Peapods.